In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my Lego Book Nook slash photography set. Earlier this year, I built a Lego Book Nook because I wanted to be able to display my Lego mock discreetly and have a little scene at the ready for my Lego photography. I've been shooting in it for the past couple of weeks now, almost every day. So here's the book nook out of the shelf. It's 8 studs wide and about 20 bricks tall, including the top, which I'll remove in a bit. I've wired it up with LEDs that I can power via USB. For this demo, a power brick, but I normally have this plugged into the wall. I have tiny LEDs placed inside the LEGO lanterns too, that are powered by a coin battery that I can tuck away. Those are all connected via an expansion board. I used this headlight set from Brick Stuff for that. They've also got a bunch of other options, but this was on sale, so I got it. The wires are very delicate, so I wouldn't plan on frequently taking builds apart. I've already broken two that way. Since this is also a photography set, I've built lots of windows and doors into my book nook so I can light the inside easily. The top of the book nook is a sturdy build that holds the LED strips. I turn these off for display only, not for photography. These I got from Brickloot. I liked them because they already had the 1x4 plates which made it easy to attach. To use the book nook as a photography set, I have a couple of options. The first you've already seen me do, shoot in portrait orientation with a 30mm macro lens. But I've now upgraded it to be a full-on background. By reworking the plates at the ground and adding hinges, I can open it up like a dollhouse. It's an instant backdrop that can be easily put away. Since I can now open it, I've added a little bit more detail with bricks from sets that had Asian looking stickers on them. So now I can shoot in a regular landscape orientation as well. To keep everything lined up, I just use this door rail plate. And when I need to put it back in the bookshelf, I put the top back on. Without it, the walls can easily bend inward from the pressure of the books. So here's what it looks like with the room lights off. The lantern lights are very dim because I have them inside opaque white bricks. They'd be brighter in transparent bricks. But here's why I say those other lights are just for display, not photography. Multiple shadows. I hate that. These LEDs are a much better option for photography. It's really easy to just light with them. Here I've just leaned two panels on each side of the book nook. And here's the result of that. Lego book nooks are great, and one that can double as a background is even better. I hope you all try building one with a theme that you love. Here's my next Lego book nook, a woodland scene. I still have to build the little homes in the second level. For a complete behind the scenes of how I shot my book nook, check out this video. This is 4 Bricks Tall, thanks for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.